And welcome back to the Ask Dr. Mather Show. Alongside Dr. Brian Mather, I'm Dave Erickson. Uh, Dr. Mather is the head of the Spokane Chiropractic and Sports Injury Clinic in North Spokane. And uh, you see a lot of athletes from all different sports. Today we're talking about swimmers and what type of ailments that you see most often happen or injuries related to swimming. I would say the predominant injury in swimmers is shoulder problems. Um, uh, we see a lot of shoulder pain. Uh, swimmers are obviously training uh, long hours in the pool, uh, and they have a tendency to get a lot of overuse problems in the shoulder. Uh, so we spend a, quite a bit of time working with swimmers, honestly, in their dry land training. I think that's one of the big issues. Uh, uh, competitive swimmers or, or even uh, uh, triathletes, uh, they spend all their time in the water and if they uh, spend a little bit more time on land training those muscle groups appropriately, I think we would see much less injuries in the water from that training. Uh, the other thing in swimmers that we see as, as a close second is probably sacroiliac joint pain uh, from kicking. Uh, you're, get, you're pushing against the resistance of the water and there's so much repetition. You're pushing off the wall. If your pelvis is not functioning the way it's supposed to, it affects your kick. It affects how well you swim. And, uh, address, and that's a pretty simple problem to address that can get your, your swim uh, stroke and your, your, your times way more efficient. It is very hard to avoid the repetition of swimming in the shoulders. What do you recommend to athletes who are in the pool four times a week, an hour and a half a day? It's doing that dry land training to make sure that you have a solid base uh, of proper function. One of the common things we see in swimming is we see a term that's called scapular dyskinesis. So basically what that means is your shoulder blade, which is your scapula, it is the foundation of stability in the shoulder. And if you lose control of that scapula and your body quits doing the job it's supposed to do, then there is a uh, a cascade of compensations throughout the shoulder and it doesn't allow the shoulder blade to stabilize. So as you pull your arm down through that water, you're overloading your rotator cuff muscles and you're breaking things down causing an overuse injury. So a lot of our swimmers, we spend quite a bit of time doing dry land training to provide the proper uh, foundation of stabilization in the shoulder so they can endure the hours and the repetition in the water when they're training. I know one thing that you're a proponent of and uh, a champion of is the kinesio tape. And is this something that you would recommend to a swimmer who has overuse problems on their shoulder? Yes, uh, it can be very effective while we're addressing their overuse problems so that we don't have to pull them out of the pool and give, make them take time off. We can get them uh, continuing to train by using the kinesio tape to uh, basically uh, the tape will allow them to utilize the proper muscles that they're not able to do on their own. So while they're doing their, their dry land rehab, we can keep them in the pool with the tape on. And the great thing about kinesio tape is it stays on when it gets wet. So we can put you in the pool for three hours and that tape will stay on there without usually, usually without any issues. I, I imagine having overuse issues uh, in my shoulders for swimming, but does that happen a lot in terms of someone seeking help for it, or is that just one of those, uh, it's a rare case? No, we see quite a bit of shoulder pain that comes in uh, from people doing uh, too much yard work uh, to lifting too much stuff. Um, one of the common things is people will come in and, and, and they'll, they'll complain of their arm falling asleep at night when they lay on their side. And often we trace that back to a shoulder problem and it changes the, the position your shoulder sitting in, it slides it forward and then you lay on that and you compress all the blood flow going down into that arm. And you'd be surprised at the number of people out there that go, oh, I thought that was normal that my arms were supposed to fall asleep in the middle of the night. Uh, it's not normal. And there are definitely some very simple exercises that we can do to try to remedy that situation for people. Now, when it comes to swimming, there's different strokes, whether it's backstroke, butterfly, freestyle. Sometimes in our training, we like to use paddles. Are paddles a concern in your point of view for uh, too much stress on the shoulders? If you've got a solid foundation of stability, no. If you don't have a solid foundation and you're, uh, you're an injury waiting to happen, then you add that higher level of stress, you're going to find you have that injury a lot quicker. Uh, so again, it comes back to dry land training, which is uh, an area especially for triathletes. They don't do uh, enough of it, in my opinion, at least the people that I work with. And I think if with proper dry land training, um, we wouldn't see as many overuse injuries in the pool. If you got a question for Dr. Mather, use the hashtag AskDrMather on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. Thanks very much, sir. Thank you.